Hey, it's Friday! Today is actually going amazingly well. I am super duper excited about it. Um, here's why. So, I've been thinking about a business idea. Um, I have a twin brother. His name is Barrett. He is a programmer, web developer extraordinaire. I'd say iOS developer um, and programmer. And uh, we are going to be starting a project together. And it is very exciting in that... Um, it's for a very specific niche. I don't want to say exactly what it is right now, but it's going to be really, really good as far as um, have a target market. It performs a very specific task that is very valuable to this niche market. And um, so it's like meets all of the criteria that I have for being a product that is really good to market, um, that is easy to convey the value quickly and Anyways, I'm super excited about it. I think it's going to be a game changer. Uh, in general, there, it's just as a gaping hole that is um, missing in the industry. Of It's specifically built around content creators, YouTubers, influencers on Instagram, and things like that. So I am beyond excited about that. That is going to be amazing. Can't wait for that. Um, today is an ads day, like every other day. So, you know, same same day, same story take over the world, going to get Data Studio campaigns built out. If I'm curious, do you use Data Studio? Do you even know about Data Studio? Data Studio is an amazing tool. I should definitely create a video on how to create beautiful dashboards that show reporting and all kinds of cool things. Um, Data Studio is wonderful. But building out Data Studio, building out ad accounts, building out retargeting campaigns, building out funnels, um, have a new ads checklist that's being built right now by Jack. She's working on that, um, which is exciting. And just working away. It's a good grind today, and i um, going to keep working. So that's, that's what's up. It's Friday for Easter weekend. I'm excited for this weekend. It's going to be wonderful. Today's a great day so far. That thing does an amazing job of cooling down the beverages. If you have ever seen those, my mom got that for me. Thanks, mom. I use it all the time. But if you've ever seen those things, I highly suggest you get one if you're thinking about it, because they work great. All right, keeping on with the working now. All right, so just working away on ads, getting them up and running. Today, uh, I went for a run, and guess, where's my phone? Where's, hold on. Okay, I went for a run today, this morning, and it was only a, a short run, but look at what happened. I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it. 744 mile, that's my fastest mile that I've recorded, on my Nike Plus Run Club. That's pretty significant. My goal is to hit, break the six minute mark. I used to be able to run, back in the day, uh, like a 428 mile. So I used to be fast. Um, anyways, that's not what I'm going to talk about today. Today I was thinking about, like, things are starting to really click with a few of the products and the works that I'm doing. And it just is like, to get to this point, it took like five years of serious effort almost every single week. And so it just is extremely, extremely important that like to have number one patience. I did a video about how I was frustrated and feeling burnt out, um, kind of like to a lesser extent, but like I'm super busy right now and I've been super busy basically forever, but just getting things to get clicking and to get going, like it takes so much time and you have no idea what projects are gonna work out, but like the influence that you're able to build by building an audience, I'm not talking about this YouTube channel specifically. I'm talking about my podcast that I started almost five years ago, coming up on five years. It was doing work for years and years and years to build and develop an audience, to build trust with that audience, to get to a place where I could do 
partnerships with companies to do other stuff to get onto bigger and better things. And so even though that skill set was not like immediately profitable, building out that like network of connections and you know directly selling from that podcast, I have not made hardly any money. Like it would not if if you figure out what I've made um in terms of like, you know, I've sold products or coaching or like consulting, things like that. It'd been like you're in the hole a ton. But the connections that I've built from that the, um, you know, relationships with, with potential for developing and, and making new products and just in general, it just is a tremendous opportunity. So like, that's one reason why I'm going so much into YouTube is that I know that it's going to take a really long time to develop this channel and to develop connections here and to, you know, be established. I'm thinking probably similar to like the podcast where it's going to be years and years and years and years but here's the thing like if you don't if and i'm talking to myself if i hadn't started and been consistent it would have been it just never would have happened and so expecting something to show up because you're doing it all of a sudden doesn't doesn't make sense you have to put in the work and the consistency and consistency is way more difficult in my opinion than quality because your your you know motivation will dip down and it'll go up so making sure that you're constantly putting out content that you're constantly telling people about your message that you're letting them get to know you what you're into and grow develop and, and connect it just is so valuable but i see people like for example the crowley crew for example is one of my favorite youtube channels um job crowley makes videos and he's a cabinet installer and the videos that he makes are ridiculously amazing right and uh it it just is ridiculous to think that he has that skill on top of you know being a cabinet installer on top of being a, like a father and stuff like it's super inspirational and it's hard to say you know what will come of those skills for him but it just is opening doors to opportunities so if you're thinking about doing you know starting something if you have something in you like get it out start creating set a schedule and set it up and get running with it because you wish you would have started like i wish i would have started youtube years and years and years ago but like i can't go back in time now so i just have to do you know every single day i'm trying to make up for lost time now which is why i'm putting out so many videos because i gotta catch up i'm behind everybody's coming for you you gotta catch up too all right i'm i'm down and i'm obviously feeling peppy today i got my my pre-workout favorite drink um because i was feeling a little sleepy after that run today easter weekend it's gonna be really fun um that's kind of what's going on right now i'm just gonna get grinding do some videos do some ads and uh keep keep going here so that is it really um i'll let you know how it goes here i think that uh i'm just reviewing our ad campaigns Things are going ridiculously well for our ad campaigns. I'm very, very excited. One of the products that we're doing are AdWords for veterinary practices. And like just the results that we're getting are stellar. I'm very excited. I think we're doing better than anybody else in the industry. Like hands down, we're becoming the best in the industry. I'm super stoked about that. Like just, it's awesome to see. Um, some of the clients that we were having trouble with were very specialty practices and the only th reason why it's trouble is because they got such a tiny niche we've been working on it and it's working out well so can't wait it's awesome so that's what's going down um i'll let you know how it goes in just a minute here